here we have our cow eyeballs. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have to trim away quite a bit of tissue here. Um, all of this fat and connective tissue that's surrounding the eyeball, we just want this portion, this round ball that's sitting in here. So it's pretty tough material. There's muscles. Um, if we took the time, we could uh, distinguish the different extrinsic muscles, the, the lateral, medial, superior and inferior rectus muscles that are straight the oblique muscles, inferior and superior. Um, we would be able to get through all of those. It's a little bit different on a cow than a human, but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and trim all the way around it. I'm not afraid to make some pretty big cuts because this eyeball is a pretty tough guy. It's gonna take a lot to work my way through this tough outer layer. So I'm not afraid to really snip into it. And uh, I'm just gonna clear out as much as I can I'm going to try not to cut straight through the back though because I want to save the optic nerve. But I'm going to cut all the way around and keep cutting and keep cutting. So I will do that and show you various stages. Okay, I've been trimming for a while. Just wanted to show you back here in the back, this little portion that's sticking out, this tube. That's the optic nerve. So I'm going to try and avoid that as I'm cutting away the rest of this tissue. So I've been chopping away, slicing for quite a while. Just wanted to show you this optic nerve goes right up to the eyeball. So it takes some time to get all of this tissue out of the way. Trimmed all of that away until we get to just this eyeball that's sitting inside this big hunk of tissue. And that's what we're gonna work with now. So here we have the eyeball like it would be looking at you, but the cornea is very cloudy, so you can't see through it like you would uh, when this was in life. <laughs> the clouding is just a change, denaturation of the proteins that are in here. The cornea has to remain pretty clear, um, so this isn't really what it looks like normally. Okay, so to make our first cut, first we can see what's going on in this op optic nerve. If we just slice right through it, a transverse cut here, okay. And if we look at this cut, you should be able to see if you look really closely and maybe you won't be able to uh, with or without the camera, but there's a ton of fibers coming out of here. They gather at the retina, the retina comes through, kind of turns inside out to become this optic nerve, which is a big, big bundle of fibers. So it's just like a cable. Now to cut into the eyeball, it's gonna be kind of tough at first because remember we have the different layers of the eyeball. The outer layer is the sclera or the fibrous tunic and that is going to be very tough and fibrous. So the cornea is continuous with the sclera. We consider that the white of the eyeball. Um, I'm going to cut to the outside right around here so that we can cut a circle all the way around. But to make that first poke it's going to be a bit messy. There's some liquids in here, the different humors, the aqueous and vitreous humors are going to kind of pop out if I poke in there hard enough. So let's see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and use the scissors now to continue my circle. Okay, a little hard to cut through all of these layers, and I'm not making a perfect cut, I'm sure, but generally, ooh, I'm leaking out some humors here. Continuing in a circle. Okay, <laughs> so I had to gather back my retina, which kind of falls apart pretty easily. The jelly stuff that's coming out, that's all the vitreous humor in the posterior chamber. And all of this tan membrane that's coating, oh, there's some nice jelly, that's coating the back. This is the retina. This whole bit is the retina itself, not the gel, but the membrane. So I'm getting rid of some more vitreous humor there. It's a very thin, thin coating that surrounds the whole area. Remember there are three layers. So the white part here, the most thick fibrous part is the sclera the darker colored pigmented area in between is the choroid 
And then the retina is this very thin membrane that's coating the entire inside of the eyeball. And because that membrane is held in place basically by the vitreous humor, as soon as I let out the vitreous humor, it's starting to fold up and want to come right on out. So I'm gonna let it. I'm just gonna gather up the retina and let it fall right off. It doesn't come all the way out because it's connected at the very back here. This is the optic nerve. So if I turn it around, you can see that's where the optic nerve exits. So it's a connection with that retina turning inside out, like I said, to go into the optic nerve. So it can just kind of move it out of the way, flopping around. This whole thing is the retina, the retinal layer. Hey, just a special thing for the cow eyeball that you don't find in your human eyeball is this very nice, brightly colored, shiny area. Looks like a seashell, sort of. Um, that's the tapetum lucidum that helps animals uh, with vision, night vision, the light comes in and it bounces around this nice reflective surface so they can have some clear view of objects moving around in the night. We don't need that as much, but your cat might when you shine a flashlight in it and see his eyes shining, glowing back at you. He's not possessed, just has a tapetum lucidum. Okay, so here is the anterior portion of the eye that I cut away, that circle. I'm gonna turn it around you can see, we still have some more vitreous humor, jelly stuff, and a little bit of the retina that I cut through. I'm gonna try and scoop some of that out so we can see this nice lens here. I'm gonna slice my fingers off. But this huge stone looking thing is the lens of your eye. Doesn't quite look like this uh, in real life again. Uh, it would have been nice and clear. Um, this lens is pretty slippery. I've already dropped it a couple of times, but um, it's coated with that jelly stuff right now, but it's very hard. I'm pressing really hard. It's like a marble. It's that hard. It uh, wasn't always that hard. It was a lot more pliable, uh, filled with crystalline proteins, and it would be, you can pull on it all around the edges of the circle to flatten it out or have it bulge into this more round shape so that you could uh, focus a little bit better the light coming in. Uh, the lens would accommodate by changing its shape. The ciliary body is going to pull on that. I'm going to try and cut into it with my scalpel here, but it's a really hard substance and it's very slippery, so I don't want to cut myself. Whoa! <laughs> and here's where we film me going to the hospital. Okay, so if we look at this interior portion, it's like a little bit of clearing toward the center, but it's all these little crystalline proteins and, and that's pretty much what the lens is made of. It's very hard right now though, because those proteins have changed after death. So here we are back to this anterior portion of the eye. Again, a uh, little bit of vitreous humor still clinging, but in front of the lens is where the aqueous humor would have been going up underneath where the iris and the ciliary body are right here, this internal chamber in front or behind the cornea, that would have had the aqueous humor a little bit more watery than jelly like the vitreous humor. So vitreous humor is behind the lens, aqueous humor is in front of the lens. Okay, so remember the iris is part of the choroid layer, that middle layer of the eye. So the iris is around here, the ciliary body, that holds onto the lens is also in that area. And we've got these little serrated edges. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut across so we can see in front. <laughs> okay, so kind of pull that apart a little bit as we peel back. So I've cut through and around the iris and the serrata here and if I just kind of flip it back you can see that would be what you would consider if you have blue eyes or brown eyes or green eyes whatever that's the the colored portion that you actually see through the sclera which is the cornea that's clear normally in front. So this would be the iris that we 
think of as being the colored parts of our eye, as well as the ciliary body around it that, that helps pull on the lens. And that's the part of the choroid layer. All right, that's our basic summary of an eyeball, the parts you can see. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and say goodbye. Wink, wink. This is what we started with. And this is the mess that we end up with. Don't wear nice clothing to an eyeball dissection. And lefty out, righty out.